welcome to the Create Studio channel. My name is Gemma and I am here to do some creating with you for our Creating at Home series. So this week, in fact, this whole month, we are taking a look at paper in lots of different ways, um, where it comes from, what artists do with it, what we can do with it, how it's recycled, how it's even made in the first place. So this week we thought it would be fun to work on a project that's paper related and so we're going to use a magazine page and picking out a picture to only use a portion of and then draw the rest your own way you can hear the birds in the background they have a lot to say whenever i'm making a video they have something to say so what i'm starting with is a piece of paper i put it on a clipboard because i'm going to be just doing the art with you and you don't need a clipboard though you can just do it on the table and then i picked a picture of a cat i wanted a picture that was a little bit bigger that would be easy to do and i'm actually folding my picture part way and then actually i'll fold that down so i just have that much of my cat and then i have some tape on my clipboard here and you want to tape it down so that you can hold it in position I love washi tape, so I have washi tape for my cat picture, and I'm just going to stick it down on the side because I don't want to go over the face. And then, so that's what you can do. You can start with a magazine, pick a picture that you like. It can be a person, it can be a car, it can be a plane, it can be a plate of food, anything that you want to use, but you're only going to need a portion of it. You'll pick the portion you want to use. I think of it as using just half of it and then you're gonna draw the rest. I'm gonna use a pen, but you can use a pencil or marker, of course, too. And maybe my cat has a really big body. This is a tail I'm drawing on my cat. And I just made an outline shape of it, but you can decide. I'm going to do, I think maybe my cat will have a mustache. So I'm going to color that in, color the mustache in, let you see that. And I'm just drawing this to give you an idea. Of course, you can just go your own way with it. Doing kind of a handlebar mustache, which is a longer mustache that gets kind of curled up on the sides or twisted up on the ends. And if you heard a barbershop quartet, who's in a group of like four singers that sing together, um, they would oftentimes in the old days, they also had handlebar mustaches, kind of a funny thing. So my cat has a mustache and then I'm probably just going to do like a little regular mouth, I think on my cat. And then maybe just for kicks, I'm going to do a tie on my cat, a striped tie around his body. Stripes, stripes, and then, oop, I made kind of a funny shaped tie, but whenever I do a drawing and I'm demonstrating like this, I feel a little bit like Bob Ross doing a demo for you. So there we go. And then maybe my cat is wearing uh, a shirt with a cuff link going under his tie. So you get to change the whole story for your cat and maybe he's laughing a lot. Ha ha ha. And maybe he has on a belt and a pair of pants and then a tail looks something different. But you can get the idea that you can change the whole look to give your uh, picture a whole new feel and tell a whole new story. 
So I hope you have fun with this project. Find some great pictures to work with. You can use even just the tiniest part of them and then make up your own whole story to go with it. I hope you like this project idea. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon and I hope you have a great day.